This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, We Rent It, and RV Source. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and this week we come to you from Galveston Island to celebrate summer here in Texas. We're going to feature four stops that are perfect for your summer destination right here in the Lone Star State. We start things off with a stop in Belleville to a castle built by a baker. Every morning, the streets of Belleville come alive as the county seat of Austin County gets to doing business. And one business on the busiest corner of Belleville has been baking up its reputation around the clock. We have um, danishes and turnovers, kolaches. Mike Newman built the bakery that bears his name back in 1983. Cake donuts, yeast rays. And business has been holding as steady as a hot trusty oven. While most are here for breakfast, there are others who come here to go back in time to see one of Mike's creations that won't exactly fit in a glass case. Oh, my castle? <laughs> He's not kidding. It turns out this baker doesn't just build cakes, he built a castle. Welcome to my humble abode. This is my house. Just a few miles from town, you'll find Newman's castle, and it is majestic. In the middle of the country, surrounded by a moat, you'll find this 3,400 square foot castle, and that's just the living space. Built me a house out here in the country. It's not your typical Texas ranch house or mobile home. A bit different than that. Different indeed. Mike's castle has all the bells and whistles that any other castle could want. I am scared of what is this, Mike? Well, this is uh, the medieval dungeon. You should have to have a dungeon in the castle, huh? You should need a dungeon in the castle. You do need a dungeon in the castle. There might be some bad people that show up. <laughs> some of the means of torture can be downright cruel. Getting a chance to wield the sword puts smiles on several pint-sized knights each week. I hereby dub you one and all to be knights for the day. Mike welcomes groups to his castle just about every day, but there are some rules to follow. Sword fighting is required by law three hours a day. After getting the lay of the land from the Lord, the first demonstration involves an actual working... To the trebuchet! Wow! Then for the grand entrance, Mike literally rings the town bells. Are y'all ready to come into the kingdom? These are the moments Mike never thought about when building his castle brick by brick. His initial intentions were to keep this huge home all to himself. But something changed all of that. Wanted to come out here in the afternoon and have my solitude. Well. I saw that it made people happy coming out here, and um, it kind of created in a lot of people uh, a, a fresh vision that they could possibly do something themselves. I saw that happening in people, um, and I liked that response from people, so that was a good thing to go ahead and open it up and let people come out. It's a lot of kingdom for visitors to take in. Wouldn't expect something like this in Belleville, Texas. I think it's so cool. I wish I had a castle like this too. He reminds me of a really big kid who had some extra income and no wife to tell him no. So. <laughs> the parents asked him, did you have a good time at the castle? And he says, no, we didn't have a good time. We had a phenomenal <laughs> time. <laughs> And that's Mike's crusade, providing phenomenal times to all of his subjects, and perhaps even more. I've seen a lot of people come out here and just be re-inspired. 